few choices. I just hope they don't pick Spectre. There's and yeah, it, it is just HFM Medusa. So yeah, pick a ranged hero that gives you a little bit more team fight, where Wolf Team were certainly lacking that until this point, but also doesn't get bursted. Vulnerable hero to those Tusk rotations. That's big trades, both sides. Okay. Three of the bounty runes do go the way of Wolf Team, but FCR... He's getting a little bit hit up here. Dismar's going to try to come in. That forces the Vistage to change direction. And, well, does he actually make it away? He's going to get slowed up by the concussive shot. Uphill miss. Not going to help him at all. Dodd connects, and there's your first blood to Ravens. He pushing the wave in too far where he just gets run back and ends up eating a lot of damage as the snake kind of forces your lane into. But for now, he's finding that balance. Mm -hmm. A bit of a slow start since that initial play for first blood as kj is going to get hit up he's got the heavenly grace again he needs the heal too but it's not enough that's two points in trample and well that's a little bit more damage than kj was ready to deal with mm -hmm. it's the dangerous hero but stacked if it ends up happening then he really cannot walk up he's got his boots coming out on courier now but it's where this lane is just what is that this? dangerous bottom lane kara Went behind the tower to snipe a courier, but now he needs Dodd to help him out, and well, that's a hell of a lot of help. Dodd comes in, jumps to the tree, gets the boundless strike in, as they will stun up the tusk and find themselves a kill. Kara gets to walk away, and that's a 3-0 start now. No, it's pretty nice, but it's also our back up top. The snake oh. is, uh, they're actually both in a little bit of danger, but they just sit there and right-click Benjaz, and they make that play before level 4, so doesn't have the follow-up onslaught, so... Ends up not being the best trade for the Primal. 5v4 instead of 4v4 because your Monkey King is ready to go. That is going to be trouble as... Okay. FCR just says, hey, we see you. You're up on the tree. We know you're there, but there's not really a whole lot they can actually do about it. Up in the top lane, though. Another attempt here from Benjaz. This one's not really going to work. And now here comes the Snowball. TP comes in from the Tusk. Does he actually hit? No, he doesn't. But they will get the Shards. So the trap is still kind of there. Benjaz is just going to try and fight his way through this. But with Seuss coming in... That's not a fight that he wins. HFN gets the last hit. And Wolf Team finally have a kill on the board here. Mm hmm And it comes from a lot. And it also yeah. mid-tower. But oh, wow. now we'll have to see how they do defending it. Because Wolf Team can't really venture too far away. And as we always like to say with Medusa, you always want to make her that mid-tower defender. You want to extend the laning stage. And you want to keep your tier ones alive. So they lose this. And then... The Medusa runs out of another place to find farm and very safe farm as well as the rest of the lineup. Oh, Dismar. Okay. You might go down, but Dodd wants revenge. And Nengo Flow's coming over as well, so they're just going to look to hit up the Visage. Not able to finish him off with that Laguna, though. And ET, all of a sudden, this is getting very complicated. Dodd, I'm not sure if he's aware, but the reinforcements are coming. King RD's going to make his way over, and that's the Monkey King's cue to back off, but that... Again, waiting for the Blink Dagger to be on the Tiny. That is where this game starts to get collapsed upon. It's also where I don't think we're going to see much of defense either until you get your BKBs done on both the Lena and the Primal nice Beast. Dodge. Ooh, snowball. Ooh. They dodged the LSA, but yeah, the Laguna connects. But now, this is where things get kind of awkward. Here comes FCR into the fight. That's a very early grave out from Kara, but... Oh, it still kind of gets the job done. They shift their focus because Benjaz marches forward with the trample. KJ is going to fall. Now the Boundless Strike hits onto oh. two in the river into the Wukongs. And Seuss, he's going to try for the defensive Abba. Maybe Benjaz will fall here to the birds. No, he won't. And FCR is the one to die instead. So Ravens, <laughs> they bring quite literally every... Uh, smoke on smoke. They're going to run into each other. Dismar will be hit up here, but there's the Onslaught breaking a, a lot of this up. Pulverize is going to come out too. So KJ is dangerously low on HP. But he is going to be able to fall back for now. HFN is actually pushed into this fight as well, ET, so they do have the full five. They are looking to punish. They've taken down one already. Nyango Flow has to sidestep the shards, but now the toss is going to get King RD on top of them. There's going to be the punch and the stun and the second stun, and Nyango Flow gets taken down. No, that's great stuff from Wolf Team. Tossing the toss, getting the punch, and now your mid tower is under threat. And in addition to that Blink Tiger being done on the Tiny, getting that Wraith Pack course quartering the damage the ravens were trying to output there just simply doesn't have enough and now old Kara, tp very crazy. bold tp well benjaz is going to try to just march his way through with the onslaught but Kara is still going to go down they lose him and now benjaz where's his backup teammates are coming but not very quickly dodd though is in he's going to try to make a move they did throw the mystic flare down so kj will fall 
Now the Wukong's command is in, but the Guardian Angel was already popped, so they're going to try and fight their way through this. FCR, though, losing his HP. He does end up going down, but they'll trade him out for Benjaz, and now they're looking for the Monkey King as well, tossing him out of his own Wukong's as they will lose the fight, and they might lose Dismar too. Maybe not, because those shards were a little short, but... Dismar's not the one that you needed to keep alive there. They lose some very valuable cores. I guess at the end of the day, ET, your Tier 1 tower... No blink Initiator either, so... Dismar is really starting to suffer on this Gyreth Mage. You just really aren't seeing too many plays being made with him. They are smoking and moving into the jungle here, but when you see Visage Medusa, these are not the targets you want to kill. No, not at all. And now they're shard blocked. Oop! Shards are there. Snowball comes in. Dodd's going to channel the Wukong's Commando. Nice two-man stun on the Boundless Strike, but Dismar's already dead. They do get the Pulverize off, but there's going to be the GA, and Ravens, I don't think you want to be here anymore. They are trying to hold the ring as best as they can, but... Well, now that it's over, Suits, blink up in one. Where does he go? He goes right onto the back line. There's going to be the toss play, but Yendo Flow was able to activate the BKB, so he's going to fight his way through this. They don't kill off King Rd immediately, though. He gets off the snowball into the punch, buying a lot of time, but the Onslaught will still bring him down. But now Dusa popping that Stone Gaze, pushing forward. Can they kill anyone? Yes, they can. They'll get Benjaz, but that was it. And now, yeah, Dodd's looking for round two. He wants to push in. FCR going to fall to the Primal Spring. Ooh. And HFN doesn't have any mana. This is not looking good. Mystic Lair is going to keep him from running in that same direction. They've got to just try and hold with him, but they can't do it. HFN goes down. KJ falls as well. Dodd grabs the triple. Safety grave just in case. And that's going to be a one fight. Seuss, though, back in looking for a pickoff. Doesn't get it. Kara is able to survive. And now, Seuss, you're stuck here. He blinked in. He's got to try to TP out, but he's not going to make it. That's oh, the soul play. Just uh. too much greed. No, in... in, in... You know, they want to at least get some vision down here. They would love some picks into forcing the Roshan, but it's where they are staying steadfast. They're not going anywhere here, and, oh, well, look at the Monkey King. They're getting Thinking a vision, it. and all oh, the back line. Benjaz onslaughts in. It wasn't really a full-length one, but they are still trying to make a move. They got onto Seuss. They're going to hit with the Polarize, but KJ comes in, heals his teammate up. Seuss is in trouble, but he is trying to fall back, and this fight's getting really broken up, ET. Dismar is going to get run down, but there's that Wukong's command coming into play. Can they get themselves out of it? Fairly easily, actually, and... Yeah, that, that was not quite the play that they thought it was going to be. Now they're on the run. Seuss, though, cuts oh. the tree! Dodd is going to get punished. Look at Kara, though. Hell of a play. I don't think it's going to matter, but give him points for the effort, as he did no buy one. some extra time. Now they're into the pit, and really, HFN oh. just chatted up on the rest of the Ravens lineup. He gets <laughs> hit up by that Hex from the Dazzle Ag Shard, but then he just says, well, Lena, you don't have a damage item. I'm going to flow instead of a creep. Maybe you're looking at a kill instead of just a BKB used, but eh. King RD is at least able to walk away. FCR, though, may not be walking away here. He is in some trouble. There's going to be multiple heroes directly onto him. Pulverize in. There is finally no one here to cancel that. So Benjaz gets a full duration ult off. But what is going on here? Dusa wants in. Using the Stone Gaze for the move speed bonus. This is unbelievably risky, ET. But they're going to make it in. The GA will be popped. Visage is somehow still alive. And now they're going to start to turn. Dot activating his BKB. But he's fighting into the Scotty. So he really just can't move even inside of his own ring. And FCR is somehow still not dead. He gets out of the Wukong's command. They turn onto Dodd. They'll kill him. And Dismar is going to get taken down as well. ET, how is FCR not dead? No, it's the Ag Shard. It's, again, the uh, the Wraith Pact. It's the... Can Clear out the whole creep wave. So now, okay, the Glyph has been forced. That should clean things up a little bit. But well, HFN, he's still going. Two and a half minutes on the Sages. He says, come get me if you can. And... I don't know if Ravens can. Asus is going to make the first move. Did not have a BKB, though, so he's immediately going to get punished. But look at that snowball. It's actually going to keep him alive. Can they heal him up? Yes, they can. They're going to get him with the Heavenly Grace. They're going to get him with the Purification. Now, Benjaz is just going to completely get stun-locked there. Oh, mostly slow, but then the stun afterwards. So he's dead. Buyback is available for him, but... ET, if Dodd's not coming back, there's no point. Oh, he just finished off his Mjolnir, but... I feel like this is two sets. Oh, God. Yango Ooh. Flow. He's caught. Can they save him? There's going to be the snowball. There's going to be the punch. Benjaz, though, marching his way forward. Going to use the onslaught. So he may just sacrifice himself, but this is a dieback if he does. He does go down, but look at Ravens trying to push forward. Dot is in. Wukong's command activated. Bound the strike. Connecting on to two, but HFN says, I don't give a damn about the monkey. I'm pushing forward. He's got the split shot. He's just forcing everyone back. He did lose a teammate, though. Zeus was eventually picked off, but the Wukong's command goes out, E.T., it's one kill, but they still lost the entire bottom lane of Rax.
Yeah, and I feel like right now should probably just back off King RD is <laughs> making me scared a little bit with how uh, close he still remains to that fight, but okay. With the dieback of the Primal Beast, you know, they would have loved to push a little bit further, but that's where I think losing the Tiny, they understand that, yeah, let's just be chill. We lost our Initiator. King RD is so good with these snowball saves. It's actually amazing. He's been able to kind of pull the line up, both the Visage and the Tiny, out of such dire straits, and then just connect with the Omni Knight, who in that situation also still has Guardian Angel, so. Oh no, oh, wait, God. Um, you don't want to be here. He just got punched while he was trying to Primal Spring. That's, well, I was going to say hilarious. I don't think Dodd thinks it's funny and neither do his teammates. GG called. They're just going to just really call it there. And Wolf Team, just unbelievable execution here in game one. Wait, it's just a matter of how much damage does Dodd do himself and then can Benjaz and Yengo flow get in there in the back line? Because as you said, if the fight goes perfectly, there's there's no way to stop it, really. Chifen now going to try to pull back a little bit. Well, KJ is not going to get this pull off. Tismar is able to just kind of break it up a little bit. So now HFN will go for a different pull. Does he get this one? Well, not really because the creep waves meet anyway. But up in the top lane... Kara and Dodd able to make a little bit of a push in here, only at level 2, so not the highest amount of damage, but with King RD not having the snow, where you're here, you're the Visage, but you don't really get to do normal Visage things, and, well, then you kind of lose a lot of the purpose of your hero in the first place. Meanwhile, what in the world is this? Nyango Flo's getting completely jumped behind his tower. Sooth's playing some Bully Ball here, and if he hits the Flame Break, that might have been enough damage for the kill, but... Swashbuckle was up, so Seuss didn't want to throw it out there, thinking maybe his opponent would be able to dodge it, but he's still playing keep away at this point, and Yango Flow, I don't think this is a good idea. He's going to swashbuckle himself a little bit different. No onslaught, three points in trample, and two in uproar. Yeah, and I guess perhaps just wanting the extra armor because he's playing versus Medusa, and I think maybe just learning about the last lane that Benjess was in, because a lot of the times he would just get right-clicked off of kills, but hey, if you get the kill regardless, sure. And that was very cheap. Benjus is full HP and mana after the salve. It's where once the Scarf Mage gets a mana reset and probably will look to either deliver or help Nengo flow out a little bit here as well. It's Zeus is going again. again. That CP from Dismar is way too late to save. Maybe he can get a return kill. Zeus, though, trying to heal up with the bottle in between hits, so... Well, he, he keeps getting away with it. 3-0 and oh now. The map, they would just make sure that FCR shut down. And they are kind of doing that, but FCR's Visage, he's already level 6. He is happy. He is not really too bothered, and they can't put enough pressure. It's where there is that issue from Ravens where do they have enough damage? They do chrono him. Uh, hey, this isn't going as quickly as they want. Stick popped. Slow comes in. KJ will TP. There's going to be the cold embrace. They don't have the damage to get through it, and now Dodd... Oh, yes, no, time walk for 10. He might just go down here. He's going to get stunned up. Dropping low. Can they finish him off? Five seconds for time walk. It looks like FCR actually... Yeah, he he might have wanted to focus on the guy right in front of him because Kara was able to take him down, but KJ finishes the job, and there's King RD to snipe out the kill anyway. Dodd does not get away, and smoke play out of Ravens will not hit. Now, well, I don't know. Do you double down? Do you try and smoke again? Do they... Back it off and just play slowly, although, you see, I feel like the answer to playing slowly can never really be sure, let's do it, because there's a Dusa on the other side, right? And this Faceless Void opted not to go uh, for the Midas build, he opted for the Mask of Madness here instead, so I don't think you're going to catch up if you're just naturally farming over time, as Dodd's going to give this a go. They do manage to get off the Cold Embrace, but uh -oh. will it be enough? Yes, it will. KJ comes in with the ult, and he onslaughted into it. The Dodd is in some serious trouble here. Can they keep him locked down? Yes, they can. Dodd will fall. Stone Gaze now coming out from HFN, actually ending there, rather. So, yeah. FCR has to do some dancing. Can he get himself away from Yendo Flow? As of right now, yes, he can. And actually, the Pango, he has to try to run. But the Snowball is still going to catch him out. King RD's got the punch. And there's no way out for the Pango. He used everything he had in ET. I mean, they, they get the buys into Mystic Flare. They did manage to punish out Dismar on the back line, though. Catch him with the catch him with the lasso. But Benja's just onslaughted forward onto Seuss, which means he now has no way out. 
Ar is going to try to come over to help. Yen Go Flow pushing in as well. They do have FCR in their sights. He's got the stone form, though, and there's KJ coming in. Going to drop the curse. They'll hit him up with the flame break. And Yen Go Flow, very low in HP. He's still going to try to push forward, though. Eh, can they actually do this? Golden Brace buying a lot of time, but there's Dodd coming in. Drops the Chrono. TP from the Dusa is inside of the Chronosphere, so he wasn't able to get any immediate damage out, but now Stone Gaze popped. He's pushing forward. Kara dropped low, taken down. Benja's in some trouble as well here on the high ground. Just gonna try and really run his way out, and with the Onslaught up in one, maybe he can make it. So he will manage to escape. No, that is a huge fight for Ravens, though, and even though watching up his build Thing that maybe if I need to just go for this and they're fighting for the high ground actually they're changing it up they caught Kara they're gonna be able to hit him with the punch can they drop the Shikiro down he does have six seconds for the macro pyre but he's not gonna have that much time HFN finds a kill onslaught now from well from Benjas trying to get in there mystic flare is gonna be enough to kill off King RD but look at the back line Seuss is being very disruptive here pops his BKB now as well they know that there's no chrono to really just cancel him out so he's gonna go straight on to Dismar and we'll find the kill with the BKB wearing off, it's time to back away. Wolf team... I don't know. They, they do take control of the high ground, but this fight could still go as Benjaz. He's going to jump in. He's caught out the Wyvern. Can he get a curse off in time? Yes, he can. And Dodd... Oh. Dodd was not in a position to really do anything there. He still jumped forward anyway, so he was caught in it. Benjaz gets taken down. They'll finally finish KJ off ET, but... Well, who cares? He did what he wanted. He dropped the ult. He's okay with dying at that point, and now Dodd is in trouble. Can they get the lasso? Yes, they can. Ice Path doesn't click. And now it's time to run. They're going to try to back off. Stone Gaze, though, is going to get them in position to go on to Nyan Go Flow. They've got him trapped in the shards. They'll pick up the kill, and Ravens, it is time to cut your losses. This is not going to go the way that you want. No, and now they're just going to walk back, and of course, they're walking back. What we see... Oh, well, this is a little bit more of a defensive itemization, right? The Butterfly and now a BKB queued up for him. So not just the blatant Scotty rush that we saw before as the end go flow. Getting himself a little caught here. The Lasso is going to make sure that he doesn't immediately roll away. Now the Snowball too. Oh, and there's a little bit of that sort of stellar execution coming back into play that we saw in game one. They just keep him locked down the whole time. And that is a bit of a costly move from the Pangolier. He had been... Starting the road to recovery here, still the lowest net worth core, but just like that, really gonna set him back again. No, nope, for sure, but that's also where Wolf Team, they are the superior pushing lineup. They've got the Visage, they can get into these buildings a lot faster than you can. It's where Dismar, well, he's kind of on his own here. No defensive items either. He's a little bit more help to actually take him out, and I think King RD might die to the Primal Beast coming in. We'll have to see, but oh, what a flame break. Okay, well, that saves his teammate. Oh, Zeus just kind of looking out for his buddy there. And now, Dodd is in an awkward spot here. He's going to get punched. But they would love to just sort of burn the Aegis off him. King RD needs help, though. He doesn't win this fight straight up, but there's the assistance. Dodd has to time walk the damage off, getting a bash though onto King um... RD, so he does find the kill. And they got him, but where's the help? Here comes the Dusa. Chronosphere is not... Actually, it is available now, so he's just going to throw it out here, and he'll look to turn. Zeus dropping a little bit low. Can he finish him off in time, though? No, he can't, because the Cold Embrace is going to be there, and this is the part where Dodd has to run. That's position either to immediately shut this down. Well, we'll have to see in Kara. You are so far forward, mm -hmm. my man. He's got four staff, but... You're still a Jakiro, my enough? guy. <laughs> uh, they're going to turn around, though. Seuss didn't pop his BKB, so... He gets caught by Pulverize as well as Mystic Flare, and... There you go. You give Kara the benefit of the doubt. It was all calculated. It was simply a bait. To get the Pat Rider in there. Only problem is that bait includes the loss of the Tier 3 tower. Yeah, and they do have to be careful. If they do decide to walk out towards this bottom lane, they are getting scouted out by a pretty great Raven's Ward. But, Manta out the wave bottom. Medusa TP's top. They all show. They might find KJ, who's kind of lagging behind here. He's trying to speed away. But then once he gets near this high ground ward... I don't know if Nengo Flow should attempt fate anymore. 15 seconds on Chrono as well, so that spell is coming up, but again, they see the Pango inching closer and closer, but smoke from Ravens, at least on the back line. No sentry either, so King RD's just looking to spoil it. Does he actually make a move, though, at this point? He's got the blink still. Uh, Benjes? Okay. Nope, he'll cancel his own onslaught. 
And now Dodd's gonna make his move. There's the Chrono. There's the Mystic Flare. Can they save him? They're gonna try to get onto somebody here. But no, King RD actually, he blinks back. They need to save HFN. The curse does come through, though. So HFN getting a little bit of time. Can he walk away? He's trying to get into the trees. Zeus comes in with the lasso connection, but Yengo Flo doesn't care. Rolls his way forward. They're gonna take the Medusa down, and they didn't kill Dodd. He's still trying to fight his way out of this. Eventually, they'll run him down, but... I don't know if Wolf Team really have the strength to go in for another round of fighting, but with FCR still in the middle, they don't have a choice. They're going to try and just really brute force this, and it's kind of working. They take down Dismark. Gengo Flow's going to fall as well. BKB starting to wear off on Benjaz, so he's got to be careful. But he does lay out for the kill onto the Visage, but his TP is canceled. The Snowball's going to catch him. Seuss needs to get back in position. He's got the Blink, though. There's going to be the Firefly coming out as well. Flame Break thrown out. Bounce back onto Benjaz. They should be able to take him down. Kara tries his best with the Ice Path, but that means the Familiars get right on top of him, so they're able to lock him down as well. But Benjaz, he didn't actually die. He's still trying to walk away. King RD says, get the hell back here, as he will run him down with a Snowball. And now they're back on to Kara. Another attempt on the Jakiro's life. This one is going to be successful. Yeah, and they get the full wipe. And that was all Kronos alive now, but we are in that danger territory. It's Doomsday. Do you have enough damage to deal with HFN? Can you kill him? Or is this just gonna be it? And this only gets better for a wolf team. Once they decide to back out of here, they reset, they wait for the next roast, they drag you through their wards. They see the faces void. Dodd. No way. He's gotta get out. He cannot afford to die here, but he also can't afford to use Chrono defensively. Otherwise, his team just has no defense. So what does he do? He does have to Chrono, he turns, but now he's stuck. But... This isn't gonna work. Oh. Rock in a hard place there for the Faceless Void, but you can't help feeling like you made the wrong choice on that one. Oh, and then they try to kill FCR, but <laughs> FCR kills Dismar, pops the Wraith Pack. Nobody wants to use their BKBs, and now he can just calm to his teammates. You don't have Pulverize, you don't have Rolling Thunder. Are we just back on the mid? I don't see a reason mm -hmm. why not. The Roshan Pit, knock off another 1,000 HP if they want to do that. They can smoke oh, as God. well, and oh, King RD. Oh, he's oh. in. Took the wards out. So how does he survive this? He doesn't. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's a little bit strange from him. He's dead for 60, too, so he doesn't have buyback. I don't know if Ravens know that, but they're at least trying to push forward and do something here. But Zeus, he got the lasso down. They're going to pull the Primal Beast back and away from his teammates. They're not able to finish him off, though, and well, Benjaz, that is going to be his BKB used, but he is trying to reset this fight. In the meantime, Dot, oh my god, Dot, you just don't win that. You can't do that tries to go oh. onto the visage, it just gets absolutely blown to hell. HFN now pushes forward with the Stone Gaze and Ravens. They're gonna start to fall apart here. And Yengo Flow got caught, Yengo Flow taken down. Kara next up on the chopping block, while FCR is just gonna try and run down and never mind. Okay, GG was called. Ravens are just gonna throw in the towel and ET, the ultimate nail in the coffin. It comes down to a fight around the Roche.